Idaho authorities are calling it a massive counterfeit cell phone ring. Dozens of people protested outside the Wood County Sheriff's Department. Clean and green, that was Dom Tar's mission yesterday. Breaking overnight, crews battle flames and smoke at a Marathon County home. Breaking overnight, police in Alabama say six teens were shot at a party. Not too far away from where you are, you actually saw a funnel cloud with your own eyes. What was that like? You get paid. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. You know what would happen if I joined that study? What would you do? I'd be full of avocados, if you oh know my what goodness. I mean. It is an extra great day to be watching <laughs> Wake Up Wisconsin this morning. <laughs> Why, you might ask? Because we have not one, but two space news stories. <laughs> so first up, NASA released this video. You can see it behind us. A change in weather could cause problems for a major wildfire in Montana. New at 11, turnout for the Wisconsin primary was the highest it's been since 2002. We're hoping to drum up a little bit of excitement for the snowmelt contest. When do you think all of the snow will be gone? All right, guys, I'm gonna share a little bit of TMI this morning. Oh. I felt like I was just sweaty all of July. Like a whole oh. month I was just sweaty. <laughs> was because of the weather or like is this something I should get checked Good out? Good July flew by. Uh, it was pretty humid. <laughs> Happening today, Governor Scott Walker begins a statewide summer bus tour. Look at this and I just see, oh yeah, it's such a 12-year-old boy thing to do. And then you see that some of the dads have joined yep. <laughs> Never growing up. <laughs> Apple just became the first American public company worth one trillion dollars. Molly, this is all your fault. Oh, oh my goodness, she's throwing me under the wow. bus, throwing me under the bus. But I will say, I have been yep. heckling Mimi for months now because that's my <laughs> favorite day of live shots. Nobody can use the weather as an excuse not to hit the poles this morning. Well, that's right. Very nice out there. Comfortable temperatures yeah. for sure. All right. Thanks so much, Justin, and thank you for watching. We hope you guys have a great day. Morning. Morning. You have the biggest smile on your face today. A grin gained not from a drop in numbers on the scale, but from 36-year-old Josh. Josh Cole Thanks. taking his life back. Feel amazing, feel great. These sentiments stand in stark contrast to Josh's feelings a year ago. I see someone who is smiling but isn't truly really happy. At his heaviest, Josh stood at 684 pounds. We kept telling him if he didn't change, we are going to have to have a funeral at 40. Despite his protests, he didn't want to give up, you know, the junk food, the fast food, the sugar. Josh's wife, Lacey, was determined to get her husband the help he didn't know he needed. She dragged me in there, uh, kicking and screaming. In August 2016, the two started the Ideal Weight Solution Program through Aspirus Hospital in Wausau. On uh, Ideal Protein, we need to eat three packets a day. It's a partial meal replacement plan. Is it good? Very good. And along the way of their weight loss and following that meal plan, we're monitoring their medical progress as well. Weekly weigh-ins, measurements. Nice. Excellent progress here with inches lost. And blood pressure tests. 122 over 76 today. It's beautiful. Help keep Josh on track. This morning I was at 349. So you're down 300... 300 and something. 335 pounds gone. Put both legs in one pants leg like now. I sometimes forget how far I've come. But now when I, when I step into these, yeah. Yeah. I've come so far. But proof of Josh's progress shows past his pant size. Blood sugar is um, under great control, and you know, he's not on any medicines to control his blood pressure. His orthopedic problems are better. He's just a lot healthier, and then he has a lot less risk to have heart trouble, diabetes, cancer in the future. As Josh lost the weight, Let's go up a little bit more. he found just what he had been giving up. I'm just living life. I've been going bow hunting again this year. I haven't gone hunting in years just because it... It requires so much energy. But even as Josh and Lacey get physically stronger. That's everything. It's a huge missing piece. There's still a heavy weight on their hearts. We wanted children. For whatever reason, God has not chosen to bless us biologically. They're in the process of adopting two children from Haiti. The Haitian government, they would deny us with what we were at for our weights. Having lost all this weight and having the energy and the ability to, to you know, run around, so I can actually, I can be the father that they're gonna need. Taking control of his life. It's been quite a journey for you. It has. I, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've grown a lot in this last, this, over this last year. So he can give a future to two of their own. Molly Kowick, Newsline 9.
According to the Marathon County Health Department, 13% of Wisconsin high schoolers are actually using e-cigarettes right now, and a new product is making it harder for them to get caught. News 9's Molly Coet clears the air on the issue. As school resource officer Matt Barris roams the halls of Marshfield High School, it's pretty scary. He knows the students he's hired to protect are up against an alarming trend. I've seen um, as far as this year goes, quite a big uh, uptake. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, e-cigarettes are now the most commonly used tobacco product among kids. An increasing among youth across the United States and specifically in Wisconsin. In fact, leaders at the Marathon County Health Department say 13% of Wisconsin high schoolers are vaping. The CDC says e-cigarettes produce an aerosol by heating a liquid that usually contains nicotine. The higher content of nicotine, the more addictive the product is going to be. Flavorings and other chemicals are also added. Okay, which one do you get? Spearmint? Pretty fun flavors like mango, key lime pie, and blue raspberry line the shelves at the Vapor Lounge in Rib Mountain. Just like when you eat food, drink soda, have a cocktail at a local pub, Different people crave different flavors. Our research shows that they are being targeted to youth. However, store managers disagree. I'm an adult. I like strawberries. I like candies. So does anyone else. So no, they're not marketed towards kids. It's actually an 18 over shop only. Kids aren't even allowed in the shop. But health department officials say nearly 9 out of 10 Wisconsin kids say they wouldn't try an e-cigarette if it wasn't flavored. Adults are getting them and they're basically selling them to the kids. And that's creating trouble in schools. Two years ago, um, I maybe had, I can count on my hands how many vape cases I've had and then this year maybe 20, 25. The small size of vaping devices creates big problems. The vapor that comes out dissipates so quickly in such a small amount that teachers can't really notice it. Students don't have to go out back or sneak into the bathroom to use these devices. They're so easy to hide, they can conceal them right in class. And changing the game, a trendy product called Juul. It is similar to um, any other electronic nicotine delivery system, but it's especially popular among youth because it looks discreet and it comes in unique flavors um, and it can easily be hidden in backpacks. The product looks a lot like a thumb drive, which of course students all have and carry around. And here's a scary statistic. Juul now represents more than half of e-cigarette use. And if that isn't alarming enough, there's a pod that inserts to the device and the pod actually contains as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes, which is about 200 puffs. But I've heard from other kids that it's easy to to complete those 200 puffs a lot quicker. Obviously, that means the addiction to nicotine is more likely. More often than not, uh, people who use e-cigarettes often turn to cigarettes eventually later on in life. Officer Barris says talking to your kids about the dangers is key. And knowing what's going on and just talking to them about the dangers and everything and what your expectations are, that's, I think, would be big. Molly Kowick, News 9, WAOW. And vaping at school has more than just health consequences. It can come with punishments as well in the form of a ticket. Makers of Juul say its product was made exclusively for adults looking to quit smoking. It's investing $30 million into independent research plus youth and parent education. The company told ABC News, we cannot be more emphatic on this point. No young person or non-nicotine user should ever try Juul.